Question five then from the 2022 Higher Maths Paper 1, three mark question again. Determine the equation of a line. So if you want to get the equation of a line, you need a point on it and its gradient. Or you might get the gradient from two points on it. But in this case, you're going to get the gradient from the angle it makes. So you're going to be using y minus b equals mx minus a. But to get the gradient, don't just use this pi upon three. The gradient means how many along and how many up. The angle for the gradient is this one here. And the connection between the gradient and the angle is, of course, if I call that the distance along and the distance up. The gradient, the distance up over the distance along, is the same as the tangent of this angle. So the first step is going to be this. The gradient is going to be the tangent of the angle, but it's not pi upon 3. You have to watch. You can always do it in degrees and then translate it afterwards. Pi upon 3, that's 180 upon 3. That's 60 degrees, which means that should be 30 degrees because it's going to be 90 minus 60 is 30. And then you could translate it. 30 degrees is the pi upon 6 because the 630 is 180. So it should be tan pi upon 6. But I think according to the marking scheme, you can, if you like, switch it all into degrees. So you could also put equals and just use that 30 straight away, tan 30. Now, just write in that statement, I'll put it there, gets a mark. Now, what is the tangent of 30 degrees? Well, either you've learnt it as part of a table or you have remembered it graphically, which I think is better because there's a better understanding there. Just draw your 30-60 triangle. Put in the simplest ratio of sides, which is 1, 2, because that comes from half of an equilateral triangle. All sides are the same, but this side is half, so instead of 1, 1 and a half, make it 2, 2, 2. So 1, 2, use Pythagoras root 3. Now you can get any of the ones you like, because it's an easy triangle to remember, the 60, 30. It's like 1, 2, 3, only 1, 2, root 3. Well, 30 degrees, the tangent. The tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. So that's 1 over root 3. Doing that gets a mark. Now you've just got to feed it in. So using whichever form you like, y minus b is mx minus a, using m equals 1 upon root 3, and the point being negative 2, 0, that's a and b. So you've got y minus the y-coordinate, is m, 1 upon root 3, x minus the x-coordinate, well, that's a wee negative 2, keep the wee thing inside a bracket there, take that across and multiply, get rid of fractions, root 3y is equal to, that leaves just 1 times that, it'll just be x plus 2. That gets the final mark. I notice in the marking scheme they've got that written as y root 3, which is not the usual order, because usually the convention is if you're writing down a term, it's coefficient and variable. So I guess the only reason they might have been putting that down is so you don't confuse that with root 3y, as if the 3 and the y were both in a bracket. But you shouldn't really confuse it with that. So I'm leaving it like that, when away you go. The alternative would be just to put it in the form of y equals mx plus c, in which case you'd have these fractions. You'd have 1 upon root 3x plus 2 upon root 3. 